nestled in the historical part of Des Moines, sits the Hilltop Manor. When driving by or touring the house, it appears the manor is frozen in time. Hilltop Manor is one of those classic houses that one would see and say, that's got to be haunted. When entering the house, you are greeted by the gracious host, Randa, and a great paranormal team called the Supernatural Research Team of Iowa. SRSRI runs the ghost tours and gives the guests the extensive history of the house. CCPI was very excited to see what the manor had in store for them. In 1900, a five-story brick apartment building was built on this site, and it was basically a low-income type um, Mm -hmm. Bad. Yeah, yeah. So there were prostitutes in it and then drug dealers and so forth. In 1977, as the uh, news reports of the day show that one of the tenants was an alcohol uh, alcoholic, his name was Ron Viverka, Viverka, and he set fire to his kitchen trash barrel and the fire just spread up the halls and basically consumed the building and five people were, were killed. Three of those died of smoke inhalation. Two of them was a mother and her five-year-old, six-year-old daughter. In about 1993, this house was going to be demolished over the Drake University area. Okay. The Sherman Hill Association, who was restoring the area to its former glory, they bought it, paid $40,000 to have it moved two miles and placed here. They had a new foundation poured and all that, so the basement, there's nothing that goes on down there because it's new. Mm -hmm. um, and Randa and her husband, Tex, and their three children moved in, and within two weeks after they moved in, they knew it was haunted. <laughs> because wow. that's when the footsteps started, running down the hallway. Mm -hmm. they, they were for sure that nothing was going on in the house prior to the move? Well, there were some ghosts that came with the house too. As the tour continued, CCPI was told about the many claims of paranormal activity that inhabits the old manor. Some of the major claims were loud footsteps running down the hall. A female ghost becoming upset when her scissors disappeared. Doors opening by themselves. And a former owner of the house getting upset when unwed couples lay together in his old room. During the tour, CCPI was able to catch this EVP on their camera's audio. Okay. The Hilltop Manor has many creepy and classic haunting claims. It was definitely going to be an interesting night for the team. Alright, Cole, Gert, and Jesse in the attic. There's Dan Dan. There's there's pumpkin. And we're gonna go night vision off. If I can remember where the F it's at. See the light. Vivian, we, we know you're up here and we don't want you to be scared of us. We're friends of Seth and Megan. Did you hear that? Big footstep over here to the left. Um, we're, we're good friends of Seth and Megan, who you're just up here communicating with. We're great friends with Rhonda. She's a, a wonderful person, and uh, she loves having you guys here, and we know that you love 
um, having her around as well. And uh, so we just want you to feel comfortable to communicate with us. And so if you could knock three times just to let us know you're here, that'd be great. So on the count of three, I want you to knock three times on the wall for us, okay? One, two, two three. three. Just jerked. I, I am. It just jerked my hand three times. Cool. Do you have a camera? Go. Cool. What? Do you have a camera? Yeah, mine's. Whoa. Do you, you see this? Watch my hand. Like you're gonna be able to see it on video, dude, because my camera's moving okay. and I'm not doing it. And it's like my my hand feels weird. Come on, you can take the camera. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Are you turning the camera away so it can't see you? Is that what you're doing? What are you trying to videotape? If you want me to turn the infrared light on so that I can see you, can you knock twice on the wall? Mr. Jordan. I'm going to sleep. I heard you uh, don't like unmarried couples. We're a couple and we're not married. What you gonna do about it? Did you just breathe? Yeah, sorry. Mr. Jordan! Is that the door creaking? Did you hear that? Yeah. Let's snap a couple pictures. That was kind of creepy. That was. Let's close that up there. What door would they be opening now? I don't know. That's a good point. <laughs> Supposedly this house is one of the most haunted houses in Des Moines. Prove it. Make a noise. Knock. Say something. Yell it out. Touch me. Make the berries go dead in our equipment. Turn on the flashlight. Make something happen. Dude, I swear the hand of that doll over there just moved or that man again. And before that, I saw like a white mist go quickly over that. I, s I swear the hand of it moved. Can you move that again? That mannequin's just creepy to begin with. Yeah, it is. If you choose to show yourself to us in subtle ways like that, that's fine. We are perfectly okay with that. We just need signs of your presence so that we can communicate with you. Did you hear that though? Yeah. A voice said hello. Yeah, I heard it. Hello? It was a, uh, a female. Female. Hello? You hear that? Who's here with us? Help us. Get us out. I'm just talking. Oh, 
ਕਿ I can't breathe. The smoke is too overwhelming. Come help me. <coughs> help us. We can't find our way out. Please help us. It's burning and we need to find a way out. Help us find a way out. Please help. Help us out of here. We need to find a way out. We need to help save everyone and get them out of here before we all burn to death. Please help us. I don't want to die. I'm scared. I don't know if I'll last much longer. Dude, my eyes are starting to burn. <coughs> Talk to us. Lead it. Help us out of here. Dude, like my eyes kind of hurt. Like you know, like with smoke getting in your eyes. Oh, dude. Yeah, like that's how my I eyes feel. That. That's how my eyes feel right now. Like they burn. Not really bad, but like just enough sting. So you hear something cool? Yeah, it was like a crack or a snap or something. I thought I heard a few minutes of it. Do you hear something muffled? Like muffled Yeah. Can you take the rest of the energy? Out of this right here, this that I'm putting my hand in front of, can you take the rest of that energy and use it so you can say your voice out loud to us? Suck the rest of the energy. Whoa. Dude, some just went right yep. here. Did you yeah. see it? Right in front of me. No, oh, no I got no. chills it, it, everywhere. It showed up on the on the grid. I got chills yeah, yeah. everywhere. It showed up on the grid. It went from it went from top right to top to oh, top left. My goodness. I Diagonal. See it left right. It went in. It went right to left and it was diagonal. Man, dude, white mist. I came down from up here and went whoosh. Dude, I'm insanely cold right now. I'm, I'm freezing. I got chills I'm everywhere. Yeah, I see your cold. That's the way you want to roll? Then roll that way. Let's do this. Are you shitting me? Alright, that's just drink that and then. What's happening, dude? I don't know. Did it just turn off? It's still recording. What? What? It's still recording. Battery's not dead. Did you switch cards or something? No, it's still on A. What the F, F dude? That's, that's insane. All right, put it back wow. up there. <laughs> How the F did he find that out? Wow, dude. Wow. Oh, my god. I gosh. got another. Like, my arms hurt because they're so cold. I got another breeze. Oh, something just went by the camera. It was like a white in front of it. Um, up, uh, just oh, right above it. It was right to like a mist. What? Oh, dude, what? Feel that thump? Yeah. You feel it? Oh shit! What? The radio. Make sure they're not closing that damn door. To. Did you guys just move something? Yeah, we just opened the door. Sorry. Oh, oh, come on. Do something like that. Hey, we just saw, excuse me, I just saw a massive, and something just grabbed me again. Was it a nail? No. A huge white orb just flew into Gert's back. Look at me at the camera. 
That thing was this, like the freaking size of a grapefruit, dude. That big. And then something grabbed my arm. And then it, was that on? It must have been. Then something just freaking grabbed my leg or something, dude. Strike that. We're gonna stay up here for a few more minutes. Yeah, we were getting ready to leave and things, big things just started to happen. Evidently you don't want us to leave. Do you like us up here? Do you like the company? I don't know if it's that, but I'm cold head to toe. Dude, I have never in my entire career seen an actual orb with my face, dude. I'm sorry, I can't stay here with this freaking thing in my face. There you go. Hear your footsteps? Yep. We're not here to harm you. We're just here to document your presence. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. That was loud as shit. Thank you for doing that. Can you say your name for us? Mr. Jordan, if you are in this room, make that noise again. Make that knock. If there's anyone else that is not Mr. Jordan in this room, make yourself known, either by making a noise, knocking, moving something. Or turn on us. our flashlight. Turn on the flashlight. Make yourself be known now. All I ask is that you don't do anything to harm me. I'm not here to harm you. I just heard a voice. Me too. Oh, Ooh. shit. Here's our flashlight. Could awesome. you please turn our flashlight off? You're doing great. Some believe that a flashlight being turned on and off is not a sign of the paranormal, but just coils heating and cooling. But for that to be true, the flashlight would have to turn off and on in patterns and it would always happen. CCPI has set up flashlights for hours on end to have them never turned on, or take hours to turn on, or even turn on on command. These happenings disprove the pattern theory. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you take a picture of Gary? Or give me the camera. <laughs> Dude, did you hear that little, like, girl or whatever? That? Oh, yeah. I should say that just turned on for me. Did it really? I didn't even hit the button. Are you hurting, Gert? What was that, Gert? 100% blind. Really?
frick? Dude, something just ran in front of the camera, dude. I I just saw a hand on here, dude. What? It wasn't that, was it? No. You were totally still so freaking wet. Yeah, like, came dude, out. I went like this and like turned it like that, and I move it, and like this hand just went. Whoosh, and we can see it clear as day, like from down there, right? Dude, it's freaking cold it's, right now. Sure, he wasn't. The... You were stationary though. You were moving. It's freaking freezing. What? What are you doing? Back. Four Creek over here. Dude, it's effing cold. Yeah, it's freaking freezing, dude. Mm -hmm. Can you push the lady over, the mannequin? Can you push it over for us? Can you, can you, can you, or make her move? I'm not. I thought you were touching my arm, dude. No, no, dude. I'm stationary completely. Something just grabbed my arm. Towards the end of the night, the team joined up on the second floor. During this time, Dan captured this EVP on his audio recorder. We were told during the tour that a mother and her child were about to be burned to death in the apartment fire, and the crowd below kept yelling, throw the baby, throw the baby, but she was unable to and they both perished. The Hilltop Manor is your classic haunted house with a detailed history. It is a perfect stomping ground for spirits. It seems spirits come and go in this house, but one thing's for sure, there's one that will be the last person out.